What's all this then? White socks, white shirts, white shorts. It's not a particularly practical colour for a kit, is it? It's boring. But we've only just got one. And we're not allowed to buy a new kit, so you're stuck with the white. I think I might just be able to help you. Let me have a think about it. Bruce! 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 Bruce. Bruce. We can choose from a huge range of colours for our clothes, but it's not always been like that. In the past, most colours were difficult to obtain. For instance, one yellow dye was made using cow's urine. I've come to meet Carol, who's a bit of an expert on dyes. Do you know, I don't think the team would be into us dyeing their clothes in urine. I thought so. A bit smelly, actually. They're very smelly. <laughs> Surely there must be easier ways of getting colours now. Well, there are, actually. Um, last century, chemists came up with ways of making colourants using chemical reactions. Say if I wanted to dye these shorts bright orange. Right, well, first of all, glasses and gloves. Then what we can do is we can take two chemicals and we can mix them together, they'll react and they'll produce an orange dye. So, these two reactants have no colour whatsoever and the product is an orange dye. Yeah. Wow! Right, we've got a lot more orange dye here. Time to dye the shorts. Or should I dye the socks or shirts? I get knocked down. Now, that's starting to look better. So, can we use chemical reaction to create any colour I want? Any colour you want. Thousands of them. Choose one. OK, so can we dye their socks yellow? No problem. We don't have to actually make dyes each time. What we can do is we can actually buy dyes that have been made by chemists using reactions like the one that we used earlier to make the orange dye. Right, well, there's loads to choose from. Let's try this one. This time, with this ready-made dye, we need another reactant. In this case, what we need to do is we need to have another chemical for the dye to actually stick on the fabric. Sodium chloride. Ah, oh, now sodium chloride is salt like you have in your chips. OK, let's give them a choice in yellow. So that just leaves us one more colour to choose. So I think I'm going to dye the shirt... ..blue. That should do it. Now to finish them off. Wow, you're looking a lot more colourful now. What do you think? It's better than white. It's a bit bright. 